neighbors. Who is your neighbor? Anyone that isn't you. Yeah, that includes people you don't even know and probably don't even like. But you can still love them, as odd as that seems. The Catechism gives us positive ways to see what God has given us in our lives. What we call the second table of the commandments, 4 through 10, is really just a list of all of the ways that we can respond to our neighbors in love. Again, they can certainly function as barriers to keep you on a definite path, but they also work to show you how you can love the people that are in your world. Honoring those who are in authority, supporting people in their physical needs, helping our married friends see the benefits of their married life, making sure our neighbors keep what is theirs, and speaking well of others, even when it might be hard to do so. There's a redundancy built into those words. A lot of territory is covered more than once. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Everything in our lives is so closely connected to everything else that it's really hard to separate these commandments out into completely different ideas. And that's good. Because our lives are so closely intertwined with everyone else's that we can't truly isolate ourselves. Even if we wanted to, someone will always ask about you. Someone always wants to know that you're okay. That is them loving you. And that is you loving your neighbor. See, loving your neighbor isn't always some big, complicated thing. Often it's just expressing concern, helping them find their way across campus, picking up something that someone's dropped. And that's the wonderful thing about this. Loving your neighbor isn't about huge, glorious things. It's about everyday life. Think about Jesus and what he did for you. Most of it wasn't glorious. He lived as you do, a flesh and blood human being in this world gone wrong, tempted as you are, experiencing all of the craziness of youth and puberty and young adulthood on the way to being an adult, on the way to doing what you cannot, giving his life for yours so that you can be with him and all of the faithful for all of eternity in the life of the world to come. Now that is beyond our understanding. Just remember, though, that he did this out of love for you. And because there is no way to repay this debt, we can do nothing to match the gift of everlasting salvation. You can show your thanksgiving for that by loving those around you. Jesus loved you to death and life again. Loving those around you in actions and words is a perfectly acceptable way to show your love and thanksgiving for what God has done for you. <laughs>